everyone, my name is Sue, and today I'm going to introduce to you all about the reuse project. Firstly, look at this shawl. Can you see this? This is a handmade paper holder where I can put my books inside it. Do you know how I made it? There's a lot of things I used to make this. First is some old carton box which I use the milk, the carton that put, we hold milk. Secondly, you need some scissors to cut out the carton. Then you can have paint or markers. If you use paint, you don't need to use tape. If you have markers, you want to use markers, you need to have some paper tape. You need to have some paper to glue on the carton first because usually some of the cotton are very slippery. So this is what we're gonna do. Let me take out the box for you to see it fully. Just for me a moment, these books are quite heavy. Okay. So when you look inside, this is the whole view of my bookshelf, or you can say paper holders. Here I use the cart milk carton that you can see some word of the milk 100% or something. Don't care about that part. Cut out the box in the shape of like this. You need to make sure that it has the length of the book and it, the height of the down here is tall enough to hold the book so that the book is won't fall over. Now, secondly, you need to tape, and if you use markers, you need to tape all the tape around this box so that you can color on um, the carton. Because usually, you, when you have markers on the carton box, it will be slippery and the ink will be wear off. So after using the tape, then we started to draw. Here I draw some trees and grasses, and then I have some drawing here with notes and hearts and so on. But notice here, there's a little brown part here. And do you wonder why I didn't draw on this part? Actually, I've used this for kind of a long time ago, and when it is raining, the rain dripped onto the tape. That's make it the brown part. And then it also wear off. So there are some attentions you need to pay. There are some notes you need to pay attention to. First, don't put it in the rain because it will probably ruin your shelf, bookshelf. And secondly, don't use too light colors. Can you see the picture here? It is being wear off because it's too. The color is tint. Now, using dark colors like this can help you to see your picture clearly. Now, after decorating this, you, last but not least, use it. Start to put some books um, inside it, like it was before. Let me put it back, right here. To see. Yes, it is back. Alright, so I will tell you some of the advantages of reusing this carton box. So when you know about recycling cartons and papers, right? So I don't have, we don't have enough money to recycle them and we don't want to throw them out. So we try to reuse them. Because firstly, my problem is I have too many books and papers and I cannot hold all of them. I put them, it's very messy putting them on the table and under the desk. It's really messy and it's not neat at all. Then I had an idea. I had an idea to make a paper holder or a bookshelf so I can put my books on it and hold my papers. That's when my table will become cleaner, it will be neater, and also it will look more fresh and I have spaces to put my school things on. That means I don't have to stuck my hand on those silly papers messing my table. So really, this paper holder did a great work. 
Also, if you have any more creative idea to improve this bookshelf, I have one. After looking at it for some time, I've thought of an idea to change this into also a coloring book. So maybe it's not here, but I can show it to you. First, you can draw a picture, a very big picture without coloring it. Then you glue it on the side of the bookshelf. Sorry about that. Okay. After that, use a transparent, slippery tape. Not this one, this is kind of made by paper. And then you tape off all the sides. After that, you can take up your markers and then start to color. And then when you see that this isn't right, you can take out a rack and start it to clear off and then start again. This is like a coloring markers book. And you can also have a bookshelf with the book holders. This is also easy to clean and hard to be ruined too. This is one of my ways to improve my bookshelf. That is all about my project. Thank you for listening and goodbye everyone!